Hey y'all, hey family, how y'all doing, right? So this video gonna be about auto loan and how repossession and charge offs work, right? So this is how it works. So we already know the process, right? When you go default with your lender, like between two months and three months, they'll put the car for repossession. Now this is the bogus thing that lenders do. When they put the car for repossession, picture this, you pay 30%, 40% of what the car is worth, right? What the banks do is, after they repossess the vehicle, after like you've been defaulting on your loan, they charge it off as a loss, right? They, they write it off on their taxes as a loss because they didn't get the full amount plus the interest. They keep the money that you already made towards their vehicle. Then on top of that, they take it to a public auction and what they do is they resell your car, and like the collateral. Banks don't have money, they can only extend credit. So anything they get off from the credit, that's how they make their money, primarily, right? And also look at it like this, right? Now this is the flip side to it. Now this is how charge-offs work. Um, after 120 days of non-payment, uh, an auto loan is charged off. And what, I'm, and what I mean by the auto loan is charged off, it's pretty much like this. Um, after 120 days, they charge it off, send it to a debt collector. So now the debt collector have like have power over the vehicle. Now it's not the same no more because the original lender has left already. So that's when a lot of credit card companies be like, oh, well, we can help you fix your credit or whatever the case might be, right? But I found a loophole with it. If you're able to have your vehicle for at least 120 days away from the original lender, you can pretend that you sold the vehicle to an individual. Now, I thought of my man, if you can sell it to an individual, it can be your wife, your mother, your cousin, but also you can sell it to a business. The business can state that they had no knowledge of you having a lien holder because you thought the vehicle had a lien release. Now, um, most of the time, the lender would, would give them the lien release because they are the person who purchased the vehicle. They didn't purchase it from the bank. That person, the original person who got the loan now and didn't pay it back, or who got the auto loan who didn't pay it back, they will be 100% responsible for the loan, but they still can write it off on their credit regardless. So if you remove the account and the person who you sold the vehicle to, which can be your company, you can have a registered agent who was a whole different person, um, call the bank or call the credit, I mean the credit collection, once they make the lien release, that you have full ownership over the vehicle. So you pretty much just finesse the whole bank took the whole auto loan yourself. So whether it be a $100,000 auto loan, $200,000 auto loan, um, they got 120 days, y'all, 120 days. I'm going, I'm coming up on my 120th day and like seven more days, I can't wait. So once, so soon the debt get charged off, I'm gonna go ahead and get a lien release. That's how y'all do it. Everything gotta be in the private, y'all. And like I say, I will respect paying a car note if, I, if this is real money, like real gold and silver, man is working hard, but this is this is all credit, y'all. Y'all gotta understand how the credit game work. Um, and what else I want to share with you guys? Um, so you guys who trying to get car, car loans, auto loans and everything like that, you have to make sure that it you do not live in the same place where you trying to do your little move because um, these banks are serious. They will come to your house to take your vehicle. They will come to your house to take your property. You got to make sure there's no trackers in your vehicle. Also, you cannot have it with the same address you live at. And also, do not try to dispute or try to argue with them with bills of exchange while you have the vehicle at your own house. Why like, why would you argue with the banks? Because by the time you're talking about this, the repo man will be outside tomorrow night and ready to take the vehicle. Be smart about it, man and also make the right decisions, the right moves. It's only 120 days, then you can put everything into action. I'm out.